Well, the idea of a monument like this to a historical person uh, is, is really a bridge between the past and the future. Uh, Wanda Gog was a real historical person who grew up here in my hometown of New Ulm and to uh, construct a monument to her um, kind of uh, encourages people in the future to learn more about her and so it, it sort of amplifies her, her reputation and my monument certainly doesn't tell the whole story I, I don't know that it's possible to encapsulate the complexities of a whole life into one image. But this, this uh, hopefully sparks inquiry on the part of viewers that they learn more about her and her work. I believe art is uh, an invitation. It invites you to contemplate something, to pause, take, take a moment, and just spend a little time if if nothing else just to spend that time but maybe maybe the artwork will suggest something to you it will cause you to think in a way that that's beyond your task list beyond the the little things that you need to do art asks you some big questions some big questions like what's important and how do you want to live your life? Art's about uh, kind of resetting us into a big picture mentality. I hope this Wanda Gog sculpture really uh, advocates this idea of, of leaning into your life. The posture of Wanda is one of complete focus. She's she's um, she's completely engaged in her subject. She leans into that cat, and the cat leans back into her. And um, for that moment, there's nothing else in, e in either of their lives. They're completely curious and and exploring one another. You see Wanda working in her book, uh, recording what she thinks, or about to record what she thinks, and I, I engineered that moment, but I, I think it's, I think it's uh, indicative of her personality. <laughs>